Hey guys, it's Molly. I'm gonna do a diptych tonight. So two canvases side by side. I'm gonna continue the design down both of them. I'm using all metallics, um, even a metallic like maroon that I made out of permanent red and um, gold and a little bit of black. It's got like a rich kind of chocolatey feel to it. Um, I'm using Rose Gold by um, the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and I'll list everything else below. Um, but I wanted to do, so I've been doing my half and half Dutch pours, um, and so I wanted to do this one, but with one of the canvases as black and one of the canvases as white. So they will hang together, I hope, um, and kind of flow together, but be two separate canvases. So I hope that it comes out the way that I have it in my head, um, but we'll just have to see. Okay, hey you guys, it's Molly. I had the, some leftover paints that I did on this big 16 by 20 inch that were all metallics. I'll link that video for you. And now what I decided to do, so I had done a half and half pour. I'm trying to do this without touching the sides, but get them as close as possible to each other. Um, I had done the half and half pour. So I thought this time I'll use the same colors, but one black and one white. So, whoops, just touched a little bit of black there. I have black all over my fingers, y'all. I shouldn't even be moving this. I'm gonna try to get them as close as possible. Okay, so then I'll blow across them. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I don't know, I'm not gonna go straight across, but Maybe I'll have a little bit up there. I had no plan going into this besides what I already told you. I wanna layer some of the colors over each other. I had mixed these a while ago, so they've been sitting. So hopefully they have not thickened. But I'm using bronze and copper and rose gold. Okay, now I'm gonna drip a little bit of white through the black. And then I'm gonna drip a little black through the white or just completely put a blob on there. Okay, yep, that was great, Molly. Good job. but I don't want too much black because I don't want it to turn into like a nasty muddy color. Okay, maybe a little bit more gold up through here. And maybe a little bit more of this maroon color down through here. Okay, now it's always, do I just blow them out the way that they are? I think I will add this help it flow on both sides, but not blow it over. I think I'll do the same thing up here with the white. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Now you guys can see my blow dryer does not splatter because there's no black on the white canvas as well. So I'm putting this on low. Okay, I love this one. Oh, let's see. 
Where do I want to start? I don't know if I want to do the same. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. I wish that that right there wasn't as colorful. Maybe I can blow some of that color up into here and then off. composition of the black better than I do the white currently, but I don't have any more white to put on here. What I want to fix, I think, is this part right here. Okay, I didn't want to fiddle too much off camera because I wanted you guys to see it, but I think Basically that whole part right there, I didn't care for. So, I hope this is gonna show up a similar color. Cause that's happened to me before. I've mixed up another batch of white and the white was just slightly different and it was not good. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay, I like it much better. Yay! Oh, my fiddling worked. Okay. So now just fingers crossed that it dries well. Oh, I really like it. Okay, I'll take you down. Okay, you guys let me know what you think. That is the dark side. This is the white side over here. Look at those. Oh God, I hope they dry like that. Okay, I guess I can't paint anymore on this table because I'm not touching this. I'm going to let this dry exactly the way that it is. You guys let me know. Do you like both sides, one side? Do you think they go together or should they be separate? I love them. Wow. So happy about this. That maroon color I made is really, really beautiful and it reacts very, very well. I'm wondering if that's the... Nope. Oh. Where'd my eyeball go? I had an eyeball. Do you guys see it? It's so hard to get it in here. Maybe I see lots of eyeballs this time. Anywho, I made myself dizzy. Um, yeah, let me know, do you like both sides? Do you like one side better than the other? Are you happy that I moved that part right there? I think the composition is way better now. Way, way better. All right, you guys. I will show you when it's dry. 
here they are and I am so happy um, let me see if you can see so this is almost all metallics and the cells dried exactly the same I am really glad that I fixed this part right here. I love it with that white space there now, but it kind of fills the entire thing. I like this little wispy tendril that ended up coming down. I mean, it just dried great. The parts that spread apart a little bit up here were, I think probably from the rose gold. But I mean, the cells are just, wow. I like them both. Um, you know, I don't like a, the black one over the white one. I, I like them both and I like them as a pair. You guys let me, let me know, but I think I'm gonna sell them together because I made them together. And I like the concept of the negative space for the black and the negative space for the white. I think that is my favorite little cluster of lacing and cells there. But once I varnish these, they're going to be amazing. Thank you guys for putting up with me. Until next time, happy painting. Bye.